I feel very, very fortunate to be here with all of you this evening to celebrate the opening of City of Hope, Antelope Valley. This is a day that we have waited for for a long time. We're fortunate, I feel fortunate, to become an even deeper part of the Antelope Valley family and to welcome each and every one of you to the City of Hope family. Cancer affects all of us. The goal is to treat and cure this terrible disease, ultimately to have families whole and futures complete. Uh, this facility epitomizes our efforts to have patient-centered care and to truly give our customers the best possible experience. And you have my commitment that Antelope Valley Hospital will live up to the task of making this venture a success for many, many years to come. A big part of what attracted me to City of Hope and what still motivates me to come to work each day is our mission for compassion. And this facility is truly a wonderful example of that mission in action. And one of the key elements of the mission is the compassion that we bring. This is one of the many things that differentiates us from other oncology networks. And what that compassion means is that you're not just treating a disease. In this disease, the goal is not just cure. Cancer is an equal opportunity disease. The whole family that gets the cancer. It's the whole neighborhood that gets the cancer. It is the whole organization for which the person works that gets the cancer. And the impact is really substantial. We realize that it is very important to add years to the life, but it's much more critical to also add life to those years. Finally, I want to thank uh, our patients for trusting us. And uh, without them, this will not have any meaning. I hope we'll live up to your expectations. I hope that our research, our care, our partnership will make a difference. When someone is fighting a disease, most patients and families put the inconvenience of traveling at the bottom of their list of problems, even though it is difficult. We all know people who have traveled to the City of Hope in Duarte or San Diego, and we felt fortunate to have these two world-class centers nearby. But now we have our home. The Antelope Valley now will be closer, a closer destination for our neighbors in surrounding counties, as well as citizens in surrounding states. City of Hope has placed the Antelope Valley on the map for all the right reasons. For those of you, and it's gotta be pretty much everybody in this room, that has suffered the ravages from cancer, either through a friend or a family member, the demon of cancer needs to be addressed in the most aggressive, but also the most caring way possible. And what a proven institution the City of Hope has proven to be. This partnership is based on a shared vision for better health of Antelope Valley. It's based on a belief that what we can do together is profoundly different than what we could do alone. And so I'm proud to say thank you for being here. I'm proud to say the leadership that was provided by Antelope Valley Hospital Board. Thank you for being here. I know that we're going to solve a lot of a lot of problems for cancer patients to come. Robert, on behalf of the city of Lancaster, welcome and congratulations and a long history. Thank you. I would say to all potential patients in Antelope Valley or current patients, we are here for you. Well, I, I think it's going to change uh, cancer care in the valley. Um, there's a huge need. A lot of patients travel a long time. They go south all the way to L.A. Uh, we're offering uh, services here that's you know not offered up here or not done as well and not comprehensive under one roof. Right. Uh, this is a CT simulator. It's a critical piece of equipment for uh, treatment planning and the delivery of radiation therapy. 
I love that we're coming to Lancaster and al uh, allowing population of patients who didn't have access to full cancer care now are able to get er all their cancer care all in one roof. And uh, the patients here so far have been so grateful. So this is our new audio visual system. And as you can see, there's 17 TVs in this room and you won't be able to hear anybody else talking. You can only hear your own television. So there's 100 people in this room and you can hear your TV just perfect. And the volume's still only on 15. This is our conference room with state-of-the-art video con uh, conferencing. Well, it's important that we can we can all come together and we can actually communicate with, with others outside of this facility um, using video conferencing. It's so much better than teleconferencing. You can actually see people and, and you can be looking at the same images and so forth. And we've got, we've got really nice microphones that drop down so everyone that's in this room is heard well, you know, if we're conferencing with others. So. Okay, this is our new large bore CT that we use for patients going through radiation therapy. They are scanned and then that information is moved over to the treatment planning computer that is then transferred over to the linear accelerator. This is the linear accelerator variant uh, and it's really the centerpiece for the whole operation. We're trying to bring the best technology to our patients here in Antelope Valley similar to what we have in Duarte. Six, seven years in the planning, yeah, I mean, it was dreamed about years ago, but it basically it was put on paper about six, seven years ago. Um, Thirteen months ago they broke ground, and today we have a building. Well, it makes us all very proud to see what we do at City of Hope is going to be brought out into the community and brought to your community here. The really nice thing about this facility right now and the team that we have is that there's radiation doctors, there's chemotherapy doctors, and we can walk around the corner and talk to them about interesting cases or difficult cases. Uh, we can tell each other how patients are doing so that everybody knows how the patients are doing right away. What makes me love the Antelope Valley is the patients are so thankful and so wonderful. There is a lot of advanced cancer out here that I've never seen before, and it's so nice to be able to help and treat people here. It's quality here, it is not quantity and they have compassion from the moment you walk in the door to the wait time you leave. They make sure that you watched and looked after. This hospital will give you all the compassion that you can handle, but remember that without them, I would not be alive. They gave me life. Dr. T, Dr. Sudan, they gave me life. In City of Hope, that's what they stand for.